Hey guys! Today I'm reviewing Sugar Mess Let's Play Jolly Battle, and I'm reviewing it based on the PSVR 2 version of the game, though it is also available on App Lab in the Quest Store, and appears to be coming soon to Steam VR. Before I start, I want to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed these reviews, so you don't miss the next one. Firstly, for full disclosure, I want to let you know that I did receive this title for free for the purpose of reviewing it, but I was not in any way told what to say. My loyalty is always with the viewer, and I will always give my honest opinion of the games and accessories I review. I played through this game yesterday from start to finish, and I had also played the demo prior to that. I did not have time to try other guns besides the gun you start with, but I have seen all of the levels, game modes, etc. Sugar Mess is a family-friendly title with cartoony graphics and characters and offers a variety of game styles as you progress through it. Some levels are wave shooters, while some levels are shooters on rails. There are also puzzle levels, rhythm game levels, and boss fights. The levels are all brightly colored with candy and pastry themes as you progress through a story campaign that is told through a pop-up book. The game feels very well polished and all of the mechanics work flawlessly. The way the game cycles through game styles keeps it fresh and at no time did it feel repetitive or boring. I would say that I enjoyed the experience throughout and each game style worked very well. The soundtrack is on point and fits the mood of the game. The enemies are fun and the animations are silly and cartoony and you really feel like you are being immersed in a cartoon world with decent depth. This game style doesn't seem like it would cause anyone motion sickness. Most of the time you are stationary. There are a few levels where you slowly move down a track and there are a couple instances where you have a node based teleportation system. Unfortunately, the game is pretty short, taking about an hour to complete, and for an avid gamer like myself, it really didn't offer much of a challenge. I did actually die one time to the final boss, but that may have been because I skipped through the level's opening tutorial and didn't completely grasp all the mechanics of the level on the first run. This game does have some replayability if you're wanting to unlock and try out the other weapons or beat your scores, but I probably won't run through it again anytime soon personally. There are unlockable weapons which you purchase through an arcade machine in the lobby, and the arcade machine has a game on it that you can play, however I found the character on the game to be very difficult to maneuver, and the controls to be a bit frustrating so I didn't mess with it too much. It is a cool little extra detail but isn't necessary to use for the main game. Overall I feel like this is a good game, especially for children or casual gamers, though it's a little short and a little simple for more serious gamers. The launch price on PSVR 2 is 20 US dollars and 99 cents, which seems slightly high for a game of this length, but I do feel like the quality of the game is there, so it's really based on personal values. If you have children who will be playing this game, I feel like you are more likely to get your money's worth. Also, there's a free demo on the PlayStation Store so you can get a better feel of the game, and I can confidently say that the quality of the game is on par with the demo throughout the entire campaign. Alright guys, what do you think? Is this something you're going to pick up? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and game on.